Hello, my name is Joel Harris and I'm the Youth Coordinator here at Kintsugi Hope. And if you're watching this, you're about to start your Kintsugi Hope Youth Wellbeing Group. And I know you're thinking, what on earth is that? What am I being told to come to? What even is Kintsugi, Kintsuga? How do you say it? How do you even spell it? I don't know. But I'm, this video is here to explain to you a bit about the groups, a bit about what this is all about, and hopefully to make you kind of understand a bit more what's going on. So let's start with the word. Kintsugi. What is that? What is kintsugi? Well, kintsugi is a Japanese art form, actually. So in the UK, when we break a pot, we super glue it back together and we try to hide the cracks. In Japan, they put gold powder in the cracks and then glue it back together. They make a feature of the cracks. Arguably, that pot is more beautiful. Definitely, that pot is more unique. So kintsugi hope is all about looking at life scars, looking at what we've gone through, the hard times we've gone through and going, actually, that was hard. But my scars are something I shouldn't be ashamed of, I shouldn't be hiding, but I should be proud of. Because I've got through that and I've learned things for that. It's understanding, understanding that your story is unique and your story is beautiful. So Consumer Hope Youth Wellbeing Group is a time where you guys come together and you chat about your wellbeing, you chat about your mental health, and you have real and honest conversations about topics a lot of the time we don't talk about. So it's a six week thing or seven week, depending on what your youth leaders decided. And the core topics are honesty, anxiety, depression, perfectionism, shame, and anger. So each one of those weeks, you'll attend your group, either online or in person, depending on what's going on. And you chat, you come and you have an honest conversation about what's going on. You be vulnerable. If you're nervous and if you're like, oh no, I don't want to talk. It's okay, you don't have to talk at the start. You can just listen and take it all in. And when you feel accepted and when you feel loved, you can start talking about your story. It's a place for you guys to come and talk about what's going on. For you guys to feel accepted, for you guys to find community. And how we've done this isn't just like a video like me talking. But it's done through seven different learning styles. Because you know, we all learn differently. Some of you are like, oh, I love it when someone talks to me. Others, others of you are, are like, oh, I love it when I can create something. And others are like, I like watching a video. So we put all of these into these wellbeing groups so all of you can take something. So why, why should you do this? Why should I spend my evening doing this? Well, in these groups, you're one, gonna gain bigger friendships. You're gonna gain stronger friendships, real friendships. Two, you're gonna learn things that will take you through the rest of your life learn things about how to look after your own mental health and well-being but also how to help your friends when they're struggling with their mental health and well-being you're going to learn things in these next few weeks that you're going to take with you for the rest of your life so get ready come excited it's going to be great you're going to have such a good time you're going to have amazing memories it's going to be hard there's going to be times where you're going to feel like, oh i'm being vulnerable that's scary but it's also incredible because when you tell people what's going on you can find life and you can find freedom so have a great time i'm looking forward to hearing all the stories and we're cheering you on god bless